seeing before we got here. But I do know top two are Elegant and Razo. Yeah. Um, and then Master would be three or four, I think. I don't remember who else is here that would be above him. Hi, <laughs> Shreds. Um, and we had some predictions as well. You said that Elegant will, unless he runs into T3 Dom, and he's had a lot of... Yeah, I think that's the one thing that stops Elegant from winning this tournament, is mm -hmm. if he runs into T3 Dom. Been a kind of bracket game in for him. Uh, Luigi really struggles with Richter. Um, and he himself has been really trying to figure out a way to deal with it. Yeah. Um, he's had some recent success against Nitro, he said, but... Um, you know, that's the one thing. If he can get away from Dom, though, which I think he's projected in quarters, mm -hmm. then I think he runs away with this. If not, Razo, again, second seed here, has a really good chance. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll have to see, because Elegant did come off of winning Raceway Friday. Yeah. Took that on a $3 shot, as you said on his Twitter. I'm never driving top players to tournaments again. <laughs> I was there until 1.30 a.m. Dude, it was happy hour, like you said, but we actually have War Chief. We were just there so late. Anyways. We have two GGs on War Chief rocking the Falco still versus Poke from Antelope Valley rocking Cloud. Yeah, I know. War Chief's done being a TO. I <laughs> mean, the fucking the stream manager. He's coming out and he's going to take matters into his own hands, but we're hopping right into game number one. War Chief versus Poke on Pokemon Stadium 2. And we're starting off with this neutral exchange, and that's a simple combo, as you said, but great drag down combo. Fred hit with a down here, mixed up. I would prefer to see a fair, but nothing so far, but a little bit of interactions, but most of them swinging back and forth. But Warchief seems to be slightly coming in ahead, but a quick cross slash even things up. Oh, and a great read on the jump with the vote air. Unfortunately for Poke, Warchief is still above stage, so he will stay alive. That was a great just momentum shift for Poke. Yeah, it was Ooh! Great read. Dash back, forward smash, gets the air dodge. He knows that oh, the read okay, has to go high, and another forward smash will do it. Oh my goodness, Warchief with the reads coming into play, but he's gonna get juggled up with his cloud up air and the air as well, forcing him off. He's gonna find some way, gets around it, and the F, the up tilt, that's the standard yeah. combo for him. That's the cutscene starter right there for Falco. Once he puts you in the up tilt, you don't get to play the game for a couple of seconds while he just presses what he wants. The great sliding F tilt backwards is gonna catch the roll. Ooh, is there a tech? No, no ability to you see the red splash. Yeah, red, red flashes and splashes make it impossible. But actually, the weak hit, but Falco only is up. So that's the problem with Falco. People say he's got a great edge guard and great combos, but the neutral game is what he severely lacks, and Poke is surely trying to capitalize on this. Yeah, a lot of War Chief's neutral is going to be revolving around either getting an up throw, a uh, drag down forward air, or an up tilt. But as long as Poke is able to avoid the grabs and stay in shield still, He's going to be pretty safe. Yeah, but Limit is available. He's got to be a little careful. But Warchief with the call out using the back air. Oh, he uses the Limit. Aggressive climb hazard on stage. Pulls Warchief up just for a little damage. Gets him on stage safely. But once again, Warchief going to force him off stage with the jab. A forward smash catches the roll once again. Yeah, and he holds Ooh. it. Yo, Warchief's done. He's just like, Warchief's I'm just nice. Yeah, no, I. He's tired of going against these people. He's showing it exactly how to do it. And the upper misses, but the back part of up tilt. Up tilt on Falco is extremely strong, if not one of the best up tilts in the game. What you looking for the grab, but a jump over back here for Poke is going to be able to do it. Ooh. He puts him off stage once with the forward tilt, but a quick phantasm to ledge. Oh, you can't. Oh, he shielded it. Big opportunity. And he spot does your positive on that, so Poke. Falling out of that situation, that was a big opportunity for the War Chief, making it back suddenly yeah, for free. It looked like Poke kind of took a minute to remember that that doesn't cross up anymore. Still happens to me all the time. Oh, oh okay. la la, War Chief! All right, Yo, War Chief's so strong. He's making a statement. <laughs> I am War Chief with an amazing rising down air, catches the high recovery from Poke and ends the first game with a two-star. Yeah, definitely, it was really close, but Poke, I think the crucial moment, it was that cross slash that really changed yeah. everything. That having Limit not available yeah. was just, a, it spelled disaster and Warchief with a great read on the jump, but hopefully Poke will change it up because he did some immaculate spacing and catching off when Warchief tried to uh, recover back onto the stage. Yeah, exactly. It, again, it's just one of those times where you have to remember that that's one of the changes to Ultimate. We don't see Falco too often in this game. So it kind of just slips your mind sometimes. I will hope that Poke, now that he's been reminded, won't have the same misfortune. Yeah, but he's running right into the He tries to do an aerial, the sortie effect, I would say. Try to do an aerial away from there. Uh, try to go to your opponent. But Warchief, all he does is shield, or he just uses up tilt to intercept it. But a great spot dodge in the down tilt in order for the punishment. Limit is available. This could be a potential turnaround. The down tilt catches up for a little more. But think with the platforms there, but the back throw, 
And he's just continuously gaining these back throws, throwing Wachi back off stage, and he finally lets Limit rip, but he missed times, and Wachi is able to get up and throw oh, no. off the shield. Yeah, I mean, this is the power of Cloud when you have these districts and catching up. Exactly. Oh, the platform came in the position. Dangerous Wuchi. spot for Wachi right there, but he goes for the up throw up air. He doesn't get it, but a neutral air dodge from Poke means he gets another up air. Mm -hmm. Went for the back air spot dodge, called out. Great job by Poke. Limit is available soon, but the dash attack. Will be using our looking for these back airs. Just needs to be really careful, Warchi. Whoever takes this first stock is really going to swing the momentum in their favor. Oh my god! He spiked him down, really contested in that area, but the cross slash will end Warchi's stock. I am. Once the Poke finally a is able to find the cross slash there and get the stock, that's a big one right there. But back here trading with the forward air from Poke, and that's going to be the stock. Warchi's only at a 39% deficit. Doing a really good job right now, but I do. I want to be careful of those phantasms, especially on stage. Pokey's been doing a really good check, counting him out, but the up throw misses out on the combo. But the back air, while landing on the platform, and the phantasm used once again. Warchief doing a really good job pressuring Pokey, but this seems that Pokey, he just needs to space out his airs and he should be okay. Oh, goodness. Limits available. And shielded out successfully, and including, oh my goodness, the F Smash trying to get something out. The Phantasm as well. Warchi playing a very dangerous game on Sid, but definitely an even one. Great reflector to get back onto the stage. Goodness, Ark, what, I don't know what's going on. Okay, right now is just doing a great job of keeping Warchi on the ledge, be it the left or the right. He's been swapping between both, and he's finally able to get that back here and close up the stock by an immediate response from Warchi. He goes, oh, oh, he gets it! Oh my god! <laughs> He missed, and then Warchief jumped back into it. <laughs> Even Warchief smiling about that. Poke clutches it out with the falling climb. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, mid-set coaching. That's not coaching. Oh, my God. That was nuts. Holy crap. <laughs> and that's one of those things you get hit with, and you just have to laugh. Yeah. Like, you... You can't blame anyone but yourself in that situation. Good on Poke, honestly. Like, it missed and you think, oh man, why would you go for that? But he has the stock lead, and then Warchief got hit with it, and he won the game. For I it. mean, even if it did miss, Poke was an extremely high percent. Yeah. Warchief had the edge guard in mind as well, but that cost him. But here we go to game number three, and the up tilts. Here we go with the regular screen 25, but unable to read the tech. So hopefully, Poke, Poke getting out, but 35%. Not a great start, but not impossible to come back from. All right, Dash Jack, just once again, Watch is stuck at the ledge here. The cross slash is gonna put him back there. He uses double jump high, but he is able to land. Yeah, needs to be careful and use the fences on stage. Back air, not be able to confirm just yet, but the miss grab gonna be countered immediately. And Limit is going to be available, so keep that in mind. Tech. Tech. There it is from Watch What a Ooh. tech indeed. He is able to stay alive. Yeah, I'm staying alive. Just weaves around the side tilt as well. Warchief doing a really good job with the perfectly spaced back air from Poke. He says otherwise, but he's doing a great job. But he just can't get edge guarded. That's the big problem. All right, spot dodge F tilt. Really good for Cl Cloud right now. I feel like people haven't been talking about spot dodge canceling as much as they were in the beginning of the game. But it's definitely still something that people are using and making good use of. I mean, when people think of spot dodge canceling, the first thing, that, the first player that comes to mind is the buzz from his Olimar, yeah. but definitely it's still a great mechanic to use. But a great confirm from Warchief, that Rage definitely helping yeah, on Phantasm this situation. Phantasm into the back of that will close out the stock. That's a good job, but he needs to be careful, but perfectly spaced. Poke's backers have been on point this game. Right, there's the up throw for Warchief, he gets the barrel, he goes for the drag down and he finds it. He gets the up throw, but he doesn't get a follow up. But great job dragging him down, extending out the combo, but this time Poke was expecting it, so did escape it, but oh goodness. Not enough frames on that one. The grab does land. Here we go. Limit's available. So Warchief, let's see what he can do to play around it. But a back air. Limit? Still available. He still has it. He doesn't. He is not forced to burn it because Warchief oh, went for the aggressive F smash. He may have pressed a button there. Oh, he read the air dodge too. He was so close, but unable to find it. But the fans is caught out once again. Okay, this comeback is definitely still possible. And he lands it once more. He read it from the Help smash in the wrong direction. Yeah, despite being changed so he can't cross up shields, Warchief is not afraid of throwing out these uh these sidekicks. And 
Looking up, special from Cloud. Make sure he stays safe, but just trying to space out the back. He just wants to get the stock cleanly and the confirm from the up tilt. Yeah, and that was so good because he went for the back air again, but he actually crossed up Poke's shield that time. So he was facing to get the correct hit of the up tilt, and when Poke tried to drop shield, Here we go. He got the kill for it. And this time he was expecting Poke to dodge it out, so he actually got the f for a little more damage. On stage, Poke caught with his pants slipping down. He thought he'd go for some limit charge, but never find anything but a back air from him. He's still alive. Yeah. Oh, wow. A late reaction with the forward smash. He doesn't find it. And this is terrifying, especially if you're Cloud. Being on that platform is a dead sentence because up tilt and up smash reach up from there. But the up tilt, once again, keeping him alive. Okay. Caught out with the fair once again. So close, but finally takes the stock. 68. I, that backer puts us on a last stock situation. Game number three for our first set here on this block. Doing a really good job. Dodges out the backer, but this is the most dangerous. He's got to get off that platform. Ends in trying to tech chase, but wasn't able to find it. The back row forcing him off. Does hit him with the limit blade beam, but not too much damage on that end. If I'm watching, if I'm not too worried about that. You know, we got the limit away, and that's what's important. A Aggressive down air landing from Poke, but it does work out in his favor. Oh, he's playing mind games right now, trying to space it out with a little bit of bad dancing. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, he's on ledge. He's, how's he going to do this? Three down tilts, but now them connect the Phantasm. He gets the forward air afterwards, and Woo! that will do it. War Chief moving on in our winner's bracket. All right, all right, I see. I see you, War Chief. I see you. All right, War Chief. Yeah, maybe he's not just the guy behind the stream. Maybe yeah. he's more than that. But wow, War Hello, Chief everyone. playing so well. And he did, like you said earlier, that cross up on that back here was just amazing spacing by yeah. him and was able to get the kill confirm off of that. But my goodness, who knew he had it? Who knew he had it? Honestly, like, look, Cyro's over at Let's Make Moves. Mm. You know, Days is probably in Hawaii because he's back and forth between there. Mm -hmm. So someone had to hold down the Falco reins. <laughs> War Chief heard the call. Yeah, War Chief better make top eight. Top eight. That's crazy. He's going to run the stream. But my goodness, what a great game coming out from then. That was just game one yeah. of our block. That was just game one. But we got so much more coming right here. At Impressive, for sure. Mm -hmm. We got more coming here at SoCal Chronicles. And do you remember, the SoCal Chronicles this time is very important. Because not only are a lot of top players missing, this could be anyone's tournament. Yeah. With uh, Let's Make Moves going on, a lot of our hi higher end of the PR is over there right now, Larry. getting their PGR points. Lloyd. Um, Cyro's there, Zan's there. Um, Larry's there, I believe. Uh -huh. Yeah, Larry's there. Mm -hmm. And Void? Yes. Okay, there we go. Uh, so we have some people over there, not here a day, not present, mm -hmm. but... Um, yeah. I uh, mean, Elegant's here just right Elegant there. is here. Uh, again, one of my favorites to take it 